What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we're back today with a beginner farming guide video for you all. Uh, in today's video, I just really wanted to showcase a spreadsheet I have been working on uh, with respect to specific characters to farm, especially the legendary meta now uh, being in the game. Now, if you guys may not have heard about my channel, I know I've really prided in just creating uh, minimum unlock guides, whether it be heroes, villains, Nexus, the Doom chapters, as well as now working on the Dark Dimension 4, and I have already completed Dark Dimension 3. Uh, that being said, you guys, there is a spreadsheet I have been working. Um, here's a screenshot of it here. But as you guys can see, um, what I've been doing is just kind of looking at my roster and reviewing in the last um, 18 months that I've played this game, you know, characters that I believe would be really good for those starting out in the game, um, you know, the, the alarming thing and, and the adventurous thing about this game is that you know there's just so many characters that nowadays we're just not sure which ones to invest in. The meta is constantly changing. So what I've done is reviewed my roster and kind of inputted these characters and kind of classified them on a, on a ranking here as you can see. Uh, whether it be based on value, arena, raid, war, dark dimension, as well as whether or not they're actually part of a criteria for a legendary unlock. So just starting off here, as you can see in this arena, I'm just going to quickly show you guys a quick example, but um, value that column there is generally meaning um, if you're able to unlock this character earlier, uh, she is or he is going to be able to provide value in the game for you, whether it be the end game, uh, whether or not they're going to provide some really strong usage, especially when you're transitioning towards that mid and end game. So uh, the nice thing about these characters is that you can feel free to actually likely build them up and then they're gonna they're gonna give you dividends later on because they'll have some value later on in the game so um that being said the next column is gonna be arena and this is just a straight up you know whether or not they're actually involved in the meta are they part of it you know and that's something to consider uh not many players not all players care about that specific criteria because you know arena sometimes players just don't enjoy actually doing the arena but personally i do recommend um you know checking this out because you can also get a, a sense of what is actually trending right now in this case it is everyone's well aware that the infinity watch is pretty much taking over all of arena so if you have the infinity watch team you are in good hands next raid is just really if these characters are feasible uh especially in the mid to late game of the doom raids uh, whether or not they're used high level even after uh you got into level 80 and built them up so as you can see here this is meant to change over time but um that's really what that's meant for Next is war, and war is the most common because, you know, whether or not there's going to be some feasible team effects for defense or offense, uh, it's going to be pretty easy when you just read the team description, but sometimes it's just not as clear. War is definitely the most often tag I have used here just due to the fact that it's pretty easy to slot in, and they're constantly used every other day for the war battles. Uh, last but not least here with the Dark Dimension, this is just whether or not that character is actually used in Dark Dimension and something to be mindful of, right? So ideally, if you find a character, uh, for instance, the first line here, Scream, she actually does meet a lot of the criteria uh, providing value. Um, you can use her in Raids, War, as well as Dark Dimension. And she's not actually a legendary unlock requirement, but her ranking is definitely the highest here in the Arena Store. So what I've done is I've just grouped them up by the respective stores to kind of give you a sense. And I did actually add a small little component down here, um, being the orb section. As you can see, Kestrel, Symbiote Spider-Man, Emma Frost, as well as Anti-Venom. Uh, they are in the game now. Uh, unfortunately, they're fountainable, which is a term essentially used to say that they're available in orbs. But are they farmable technically? Yeah, you can't control it. It's based on luck, right? So that is something to be mindful of. But you can see, uh, in contrast to the characters we just looked at, you can see the difference of most of them hitting the criteria because all of these characters are very, very powerful. And if you were to get them earlier rather than later, they're going to provide some immense, immense value for you, uh, especially in the mid to late game stages. You can also see from the screenshot that definitely one of the more heavier areas for character farming is going to be a war store, which you guys will have access to later, especially if you're just beginning. You may not have a war store yet, but you get essentially credits for them being involved in Alliance War. And you can see I've also sorted this by uh, the ranking here, and there's just a lot of good characters overall, you can see. But again, um, this is just a, a reference for those starting. Um, I'm going to try to keep this guide updated as much as possible, especially given how often I play the game, and especially when metas change and new characters coming in and out. It's easy for me to pivot. So let me know what your guys' thoughts and um, thoughts and uh, insight are because definitely if I left any characters, I can. it's a very easy for me to manipulate the spreadsheet and add them in, um, especially now with the changing meta and times. But, you know, again, I just wanted to showcase this for you guys because if it can help you kind of get some insight, um, especially if you're 
for those players returning to the game and they're not really sure which teams now are part of the meta um, this is going to be something I'm going to try to constantly keep up to date uh, the last thing I did want to talk about as well is just the legendary ranking um, that you see here and for this ranking I've done something very similar to how I kind of aligned the characters uh, tab there um, but keep in mind here this is just gonna be specifically the legendary characters so you can see um, the group very similar they're also ranked as well as I added a farming difficulty because this can give everyone a, a sense essentially um, how hard it is to actually farm for this specific legendary um, given the characters required to unlock in the next column so I mean just keep in mind, uh, this is relative to obviously where you are in the game. It's relative to whether or not you got lucky orbs, character unlocks. But uh, you can see here that you know most of the top legendaries being Adam Warlock, Ebony Ma, Phoenix. Um, they're all up there, but their farming difficulty is hard. And I wouldn't recommend that for the beginners because you likely will need some other characters that are part of that unlock. But you know, one that does stick out is actually, uh, you can see here for moderate, Jubilee is actually moderate there. And she hits a lot of checkboxes right now. And you only really need Ant-Man, Ghost, Stature, Wasp, and Yellow Jacket. And the hardest one's probably Yellow Jacket just because uh, he is deep in the Doom chapters. But I've also made guides on that, you guys. So um, again, this is just to give you a reference because I know the game can be quite overwhelming, especially for the newer players in mid game but hopefully uh, this can be a resource for you guys to use so I'm gonna try to keep the legendary ranking updated as well as characters in the game please let me know if you guys feel like I should add anything to this because I love hearing back from all of you and always um, this is a great community that we're hoping to grow and continually get better and better right so um, that's all I got for today you guys I do appreciate you check out my channel as always and I'll see you in the next one